Let's bring in United Conservative Leader Jason Kenney from the legislature this morning with uh, his reaction to the budget. It was called yesterday, Jason, a, a big gamble. Uh, in your opinion, just how big of a gamble is this? Well, I think it's a big fiscal train wreck. They're on track for nearly $100 billion in debt. When they came to office, the debt was $13 billion. So the NDP is planning for a 640% increase in what we owe as Albertans. Uh, that means they're driving up interest costs to nearly $4 billion a year. We're already spending more in interest for bankers than we spend in services in 19 of the 23 government departments. And uh, this is uh, all, because the government's showing absolutely absolutely zero commitment to fiscal responsibility with 32% uh, increases in spending faster than population growth, faster than inflation. Uh, we simply can't afford this and it, it, it's it, it, unfortunate it means that future generations of Alberta will be paying the bills for this current government. Days ago, we uh, we had chatted with you and the uh, the other opposition members about releasing shadow budgets. At the time, you you said that you didn't plan on doing that because it was considered a gimmick. But now that you've seen the the government's numbers, uh, what would you have done differently to try and uh, get us out of the red? Well, the most important thing is to reignite our economy. Our economy is 4% smaller today than it was when the NDP came to office. 175,000 Albertans are out of work. Tens of billions of dollars of investment has fled the province. We need to restore that investor confidence. So we would begin by scrapping the carbon tax, which, by the way, goes up by 67% in the NDP budget. They try to hide it, but it's baked into the budget, a 67% increase. We would eliminate that carbon tax uh, and cut red tape to help restore investment confidence in this province and we'd have to go through a period of sustained fiscal restraint uh, uh, holding spending at close to zero growth uh, or perhaps very small reductions in spending if we did that with economic growth you'd get to a balanced budget by about 2022 uh, would a uh, restrained fiscal restraint including uh, trimming the the public sector uh, worker file and uh, and and doing something like that it, it, it would probably require reductions in the size of the public service through attrition uh, because uh, the public sector has grown um, by tens of thousands of jobs while the private sector has shrunk by even more. And this is, in the long run, not sustainable. Uh, Alberta has the most inefficient uh, provincial government in Canada by a country mile. We spend about 20% more per person than the average Canadian province to deliver the same services, and many of them have better outcomes in various areas. So uh, we would need a period of sustained fiscal restraint. I honestly thought we would see some of that in this budget. The government seemed to have telegraphed that, but they just threw caution to the wind. Uh, you've had a chance to go through the budget. Uh, anything in that budget that, that pleased you, that gave you a little bit of optimism? There, It can't be all doom and gloom on every single line. Well, one thing ple that pleased me is they had a very simple and expensive budget cover. Uh, the, Justin Trudeau spent a quarter of a million dollars on his last budget uh, front page. So that showed a little bit of a, a bit of economy. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I'm, my, what I'm focused on is the 67% increase in the carbon tax and the 640% increase in debt. I don't think you can uh, put lipstick on that pig. Jason Kenny, the United Conservative leader, joining us from the ledge. Jason, appreciate your time. Enjoy the weekend. Cheers, all the best. All right, top story.